So, uh, I'm sitting here driving today, heading into Oklahoma, we're out of the rain, um, sky, sun's coming out, man, it's going to be a beautiful day, I think, pretty excited. Um, anyway, so I'm just, I'm driving along here and I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking about this whole issue of, of stigma and, you know, and like, we've got to tear down the stigma and we got to open up and we got to share more and we got to get to the issues and struggles and, you know, and, and all that stuff. And then I realize, okay, man, what am I, what am I really saying? I mean, uh, honestly, guys, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm kind of a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm asking everybody to reach out for help. I'm asking everybody to open up and share what's going on and support each other and be there for each other and and you know and keep trying and fighting and yet I'm I'm probably the worst one of all at that stuff you know and so I think to myself what what are my barriers what are the things that get in my way for you know I mean I've reached out for help I mean I've gone got past that but then you know I don't always stay consistent you know I'm not on you know I'm not complying on my meds I don't go to my counseling you know and, and you know I have you know not always consistent I'm trying I'm getting better but I'm not always consistent and I'm and I'm thinking to myself why not I mean I've already reached out for help so so why not what what are those things that keep me from from maximizing my mental health care um, You know, I'm, I'm constantly, you know, angry and, and frustrated and, you know, um, nobody understands, nobody gets it. And I just, I, you know, I don't want to talk about stuff. And yet when I look internally and I'm just, I'm just dying and struggling and, 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 you know, whether it's dealing with my own demons or, or just other things that are going on inside. And I have the resources in front of me. And so what are these barriers? Is it just because I feel yucky or, you know, or I'm, I'm, I don't want to remember things or I don't want people to know things about me uh, because of what they think, you know? I mean, I think I'm getting better at that. I think I'm caring less and less about what people think. But it's still a huge struggle. And so we put up this wall and we put up this front and we get around other people. You know, now I'm kind of in this position with this organization and we're like, you know, I hate... I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm you know, like a, or I'm trying to set an example. I was going to say role model, but no, I'm just, I'm trying to set an example. And, and yet now I feel like, man, I got to do this thing for everybody else or else, you know, like, like I'm failing at setting the example. <laughs> and, and why would anybody do it if I'm not going to do it myself? Um, so that's, and that's kind of bittersweet. That's good and bad because that does motivate me and keep me moving forward with, uh, running this organization and trying to think of creative ways to get this message out but so okay so we got these barriers we got to figure out we got to break the code on how we get past these barriers you know do I feel all alone I mean there were times I'm like oh man I can't talk about that you know it wasn't that it wasn't that I felt alone I guess I mean I knew there were other people out there somewhere but but, but my crew nobody in my crew is going to feel this way and uh, so I, I'll be happy to go talk to somebody else, but, but people in my circle I don't really want to talk to because they know me, you know, and, uh, um, and I value their friendships. And so I guess I do care what people think. I mean, don't we all, to a point? I mean, we're liars to say if we don't, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. It's just me, maybe. But then I started realizing the more and more I talk with, with the group around me within my circle, especially within Summer for Soldiers, that we do have similarities and we do have these things. We're all like, yeah, oh yeah, me too. Yeah, absolutely. Which just reaffirms that, that we truly aren't alone and there's more people out there that are in the same boat. And so how do we, how do we encourage others to begin to open up? Because the more, you know, honestly, for me, 
the more people start to share and open up with their issues and their struggles and what they're going through and that I can identify with, then the easier it is for me to do the same. And that's how we kind of take care of each other. So we gotta get past these barriers. Oklahoma. Gotta pay the toll master. Actually, I don't think I pay here. Oh, maybe I do. Morning. Uh, Missouri? Uh, no, I'm uh, Ohio. No, I'm asking where you're going right now. Oh, uh, Oklahoma. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you're going to take an entry ticket. Okay. And you're going to pay in 27 miles. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. I take an entry ticket and I pay in 27 miles. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's amazing what you can discover and come across when you road trip across the U.S. Uh, you know, when you fly in someplace, you're, you're destination minded, but when you're just traveling through, you take the time to kind of see what's out there and things that catch your interest, um, especially when it comes to exploration. The real adventure begins out of the spontaneous, unexpected, unplanned things that come your way. Uh, and that's what makes it uh, probably the most fun. And so I'm driving through Oklahoma, and wouldn't you know it, I'm sitting here thinking about this whole idea of, you know, of, of stepping outside our comfort zone and, and how we begin to, to, to open up and really get deep and, and, and take ownership of our health care. And, uh, and I saw something that caught my eye. So I have an idea. So here's the deal. If we're ever gonna start getting down to the deep-rooted issues, we gotta start stripping away the barriers, come out from behind that wall that we put up so that we can truly seek out the help we need. And we need to realize that we are absolutely not alone. We're in this together. And so I thought, what better way to demonstrate this than to bear it all at a nature's resort. I really had no idea what to expect coming to a place like this. I mean, Tanning all natural and the barricaded privacy of my own backyard is one thing, but this is way out there. So let's just chalk it up to my mania. I'm bipolar and, and I'm not afraid, afraid to use it. it. So fortunately it's a weekday and there's not very many people here, so it didn't take long to finally settle down and relax and start enjoying all those things you ever want to do outside, naked. Like tanning and swimming. hiking the miles of nature trails. I can't believe I'm doing this, but um, it, it, it really is quite relaxing and freeing, uh, quite frankly. <laughs> but anyway. I even tried to practice some yoga. I see sitting there, I think I know what's going on Will you 
you give me just a moment of your time I bet they only know the war, you're not the man that's deep inside If you let me share, I think that you will find That I've been right where you're standing and I know that means so well I won't pretend I know what you should ever do Sometimes my days turn to darkness and my memories come alive But I'm here to walk that troubled road with you Even when it's easier said than it is done Oh, when everything inside becomes undone Oh, when realize just what you have become Oh, I know it's easier said than it is done Oh, yes, it's easier said than it is done But I might not be the only one I'll try and take a step instead of turn and run Even when it's easier said than it is done Oh yes, it's easier said than it is done But I realize I'm not the only one So I'll take a step instead of turn and run Even when it's easier said than it is done I know it's easier said than it is done Okay, listen, I'm not asking everyone to run off and join nudist camps here, okay? It's not like I'm going to turn Summit for Soldiers into, say, streaking for stigma. Hmm. Oh, anyway. No, my point is this. To you veterans out there, only you know what the real issues and the barriers are that keep you from reaching out for help. And so my challenge to you is simple. Just be honest with yourself. Forget everybody else. But dig deep and find what those obstacles and what those barriers are and push yourself to move beyond those and come out from behind them so we can get to the real issues. I promise you, it's going to be difficult and you're going to have to step way outside your comfort zone. But when you do, that's when you can finally let real uh, recovery begin. And to everyone else, um, I want to leave you with this. Imagine you walk into a room stark naked and that room is packed full of clothed people. Imagine how awkward, ashamed, embarrassed, and uncomfortable you would feel. That's exactly how a lot of veterans feel when they're reaching out for help. It's that uncomfortable. So I want you to keep that in mind next time you're thinking, why don't those vests just reach out for help? Because it's that uncomfortable. Well, it's time to throw the clothes back on and head on back down the road. Uh, my next stop will be Black Mesa. It's the uh, highest point in Oklahoma. We'll see you then. I know it's easier said than it is done.